How y'all doing? Yippee ki yay, brothers. Now, this right here is going to be a magic set review video, okay? Now, if y'all are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down yonder, okay? Just right down yonder down there. I know y'all get sick of people telling y'all to hit that subscribe button, but hey, you haven't heard from me a whole lot, right? Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, like the video, make sure you watch it all the way, and I hope y'all really enjoy it. This Magic Set Review is from Royal Magic. That's right, it's from Royal Magic. Don't think, just because it's from Royal Magic, it's a darn good set. Royal Magic has a lot of good props. If y'all ever look on YouTube and stuff like that, like I say in the video, check out some Royal Magic props, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. Share the video and tell me what y'all think about it in the comments section. I appreciate y'all's support and I hope y'all are staying healthy. Yeehaw! Yippee-ki-yay, brothers. Hey everyone, what's up? Matt here for a really cool magic set review. This right here is The Secrets of the Great Magician by Royal Magic. So this is the Royal Magic set, okay? If anybody is not familiar with uh, Royal Magic, they're actually a really, really good company that makes a lot of great magic sets or magic props, uh, not just magic sets, but magic props too for magicians and everything else. They've been around for a very long time and they are great. I mean, they are outstanding quality. I have several Royal Magic props that are professional stuff here at my house. If y'all ever are ordering, on, uh, ordering off Amazon or wherever, just look up for Royal Magic products. They, they always aim to please. I mean, every time I've gotten any of their products, that's very good quality. Um, anyways, so this box right here is for the uh, for the secrets of the great magician. So this is really cool, actually. It's got a lot of uh, a lot of cool pictures on top. It's got like Von Arts doing the. It's got the levitating lady right here. Whenever they first introduced this way back in the uh, early 1900s um, or so, I can't remember the actual time whenever it came out. Maybe in the 1800s. I don't know. Uh, it's got Chung Ling Su on here. It's got Houdini. It's got Von Arks on here. I mean, it's got Thurston. It's got all the great magicians on the box. So I really do love the artwork. And it also comes with a DVD with over 100 outstanding tricks inside. So you get 100 plus tricks and a lot of good props too. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it is. So inside, you're going to get this nice table. So this table, is, I like how this is compact in here. It's literally got like a really good uh, set in here, pretty much like a good, you can put all your props here, 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 and store it, and it's an easy put away. So that's really neat. Um, inside you have your drawer box. Now I'm not gonna go over this. Uh, this is basically just your standard drawer box, just a smaller in, in this way right here. Mine's a little bit beat up because this is a magic set that I've had for a very long time, okay? So uh, basically the way this works, you can put candy, sponge balls, whatever you want, and the same thing, you snap your fingers. You, you can show it empty and then snap your fingers and then like it produces candy or whatever you want. Also inside, you get Houdini's chain uh, chain escape. This is basically the chain escape where it teaches you about escape magic. This has been in several other magic sets. What I do like about this compared to other ones is kind of the quality and um, the way they detailed it. So this one right here has a better lock a lock that I've seen on other magic sets. So it's got a really nice little detail, a uh, little symbol right here, and then you get your key to escape. It is a real key and a real lock. And if you don't know how to get out, you will get stuck in this, trust me. I know, because whenever I was first practicing, I was like, yeah, messing up a lot. So this is the Houdini Chain Escape Link Ring. It's really strong, durable chain ring. Also inside, you get your penetration frame. I don't feel like I need to demonstrate this trick right here because I've done this in several other ones. This is a really good quality though. It comes in bright red just like this right here. And it's basically a solid through solid penetration. This comes in quite a few other magic sets too. It comes in a lot of magic sets. But I do like this one right here a lot better because it's bigger. It's a, you can see it a lot better. So for carrying around purposes, it's more visual than I've seen in other ones. It's almost about as good as the Chris Angel one basically. So this is very durable, really good. Do a solid through solid, put a card in, put a card in and then penetrate it. and then. By no means they don't understand how you manage to get it through the glass frame. Okay, uh, also inside you have your billiard balls. Okay, so this is really cool top side tricks. Okay, so you do get your, uh, your billiard balls. Uh, this right here is for a more advanced sleight of hand. It's, it's really, billiard balls can be very difficult if you practice and study them very well. This is red and it's made out of plastic, but they're very durable. Okay, so what else do we have in here? We have a wand. So I like the way they put the, like everything in these tables. It fits great. This wand is a lot bigger than most. So uh, yeah, 
this is a pretty good size one and it's very durable. You can do a lot of tricks with this, like the static cling and everything else that I've demonstrated before. I mean, you can do like the rising one to where you can like make it like a spirit. It's like levitating it out of a bottle. That's really cool. Uh, oh, also this is the kit that you get your uh, rice bowls in. Now I just did a video three videos back ago, I think three or four videos back again with the Chinese rice bowl, amazing trick. So if y'all wanna see this demonstrated, I did put up a video, I did use these same bowls, okay? So if y'all wanna see how that's done or if y'all wanna watch the demonstration purpose on this, if y'all watching this, go back and check out that other video and give me some more views on that video. So that's great, I did demonstrate these in a couple videos ago. Uh, what else do you get in here? Uh, you get the uh, talking dice trick. Now this right here is basically the trick where you can literally have somebody behind their back, uh, you can turn around and then have them select the number like, you know, let's say like three or whatever, uh, close up the die and uh, so forth and you can literally stick it into the bigger one and read their mind by having it sealed inside the canister. It's completely, you cannot see through it or anything like that. It's, it's a really good trick. I actually just did this for my girlfriend's daughter and she loved it. She literally was like, wow, kids are so amazed by this, it's the talking die trick. You can just be like, hey, you know, you hear the dice, it's talking to me and it's telling you you're, you pick the number three or whatever number that they pick and so forth. It is a really good classic trick. It's been around in a lot of magic sets for a while. Um, let's see, moving forward, uh, we have the Goshman sponge balls. That's right, these are the Goshman sponge balls. So this is really cool. Now with this kit you can do, it teaches you in the, in the, in the booklet right here, it teaches you a lot of cool classic tricks that's been around for a while, including one being uh, the uh, loadout for um, the sponge ball. So basically what you can do is you can have one palmed in your hand like this right here. Show the uh, bowls, just like this right here, you can show the bowls empty, just like so. Place it face down or whatever you want to do. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to have this right here just like this. You can place this, tell them like, show them like this right here, they'll never see the sponge ball and so forth. And basically place it down, take this one right here, vanish it, just like that, and then watch, it actually goes boop, right underneath the bowl. So that's a really cool trick, and there you go, I just taught y'all a trick. So this is, this is pretty cool, it does teach you, it does teach you uh, sponge ball routines with the uh, kit, it comes with three sponge balls, and it teaches you routines with these little rice bowls too, so you can implement it with your rice trick along with your sponge balls. Um, moving forward, um, this right here is a very cool classic trick. Um, basically what you do is, is you show the tube and you can show it completely empty and you say watch. You say watch. I'm going to place the red one in just like so. I'm going to place the white one in. Oops. Place the white one in and then place the blue one. Now watch as the blue one completely squeezes right through the red and white one. So that's a very cool classic trick. It's actually a really good trick. And then you can literally show the tube empty or however you want to do it. But uh, it comes with all of the stuff that you need to uh, pretty much do this penetration effect. It's a very cool classic trick with the blue, uh, the blue penetrating through the red and the white one. So also inside you do get your TT. So that's very good. Um, you can do your TT is used for basically making uh, sponge balls just completely vanish or reappear however you want to do it. It basically just pretty much produces, vanish, all that. So your TT is inside this thing and it's a very good TT. It's a, it's very good camouflage. The color, I know some people when they get kids and stuff like that, they, they're worried about the color of the tip not fitting, um, fitting their finger just right. This one right here actually fits flesh perfect. It's very good, very strong and durable. So overall on the top part of this, so we have your rice balls, the sponge balls, the chain links, uh, your uh, drawer box and all that. So I've already covered all this. Now, here's the cool thing. You get fantastic tricks with 50 other magical miracles. So this right here is not just like, it, this is actually really cool. Uh, so inside you get a whole thing of how to be a magician, how to brush up on your, uh, how to brush up on your stuff and make your shows better, misdirection, all that. And inside it teaches you a lot of cool tricks that I have not seen in a lot of other magic sets. So it teaches you the pepper tricks. I have seen that one in there, so I can't say that. It teaches you x-ray cards. It teaches you some betches with the first glass trick on like little bar scams and stuff like that. I mean, it teaches you a lot of cool things like sleight of foot, uh, static clean, how to make like a pin, literally shoot back onto the uh, cap and make like a really cool um, effect with that. 
It teaches you the cut and restored rope inside. It teaches you the lottery uh, winning trick to where you can literally put money in here and uh, teaches you how to make like a lottery trick to where you will always be the winner. Um, let's see, it teaches you the goofy gum trick, the wizard card trick, all tied up with hankies. Uh, it teaches you how to make the uh, the um, newspaper with uh, water, how to, how to make it suspend with water and such jumping rubber bands, the balancing ball on a string. I mean, it teaches you a lot of good trick. Um, the Magical 7 Mystery, that's a really actually cool bet you trick right here that I want to go over with y'all eventually on another video. It teaches you baffling caps. I mean, I can go on and on. It teaches you so many cool class effects that have been around forever, like, like this little uh, gumball trick and a little uh, brown bag. Moving forward, the next book is going to be your instruction booklet. So unless you want to read the DVD, by the way, this uh, DVD is used from Magic Makers. So the guy from Magic Makers is going to be on here. So you do get the Royal Magic DVD if you want to watch all the DVD and how to do all this stuff. That's there. Um, this right here is the book that teaches you all the tricks and how to use the TT and so forth. And it's very detailed. And it also gives you a lot of history facts on older magicians. So what I mean by that is it tells you who created the TT, it tells you who Albert Goshman is and his famous Spongebob routine. So I think that's amazing actually. So it literally teaches you Albert Goshman's famous Spongebob routine in here uh, and his whole entire routine, the splitting the Spongebob and so forth. But you can also get that on YouTube too if you want, but it, it teaches you in the history of him. So I think that's really neat. It's got a lot of history stuff in here that you can't get from YouTube unless you really go into detail. Um, teaches you the posters of the great and so forth. And moving forward, so you also get these strings in here too and everything else inside this little pocket right here that teaches you some cut and restored strings ideas. Now, that's not it. So this right here is not it. Underneath, you're going to get a lot of amazing cutout tricks. Yes! So that's what I like about this the most. So. What you get is this little cool wallet. This right here is basically based off a professional trick with the, uh, with the wallet to where you can literally stick this in here just like this right here. You get this little ticket or whatever you want, money, credit card. You can close it up, snap your fingers, and then the ticket is gone. So yeah, that's really cool. You get this pretty much this little wallet. You can actually order the professional one too on here, but this right here is the beginner one to where you can practice it or whatever you want. You snap your fingers again just like that, the admit one ticket comes right back. So that's really cool. Now this little ticket, it comes with these three tricks right here. Now it comes with teaching you, this is how they teach you the magician's choice. Now whenever you get this kit, it's gonna come in like a little pop out cardboard thing to where you pop all these out. I've already done that obviously. So what you're gonna get is, is you're gonna get Houdini, the king of cards, Thurston, and then Keller, the great magician, along with this little mini card put out right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this one in your pocket and this is based off a magician's choice. So what you do is, is you show the show you got a ticket for an admit one magic show. And you tell them, you show them the three uh, magic shows for the movie theater or for the theater or whatever. And you say, hey, who would you like to go see? Would you like to go see Houdini, King of Cards, Thurston, or Keller? So if they pick Houdini, most people probably will because that's who they know the most. You place the ticket right there and then you show them there's nothing on the back of it, just like that. But on the back of the ticket, you it says, I knew you would pick Houdini. So you have a multiple out with this right here, okay? So you literally have multiple outs with this trick. I like that a lot. It's really cool. Also, you get the, uh, the, the Princess of Kargzan or something like that. This is basically the floating trick. Uh, where it's like the Princess of Cards and where it teaches you how to like literally lay it in your hand and then make her float off your hand. And then, yeah, that's a really cool classic trick. You can do this. They have this with credit cards too. I think it's some uh, other magic tricks. It, it was actually a credit card. So that's really neat. It's a very classic old school trick. Uh, another good trick in here in this kit that I like about a lot that I haven't seen in other magic sets is the fadeaway card trick. Now this right here is a very, very cool trick that I've never seen. And basically the way it works is, is you literally place the card in your hand just like so and then you just kind of fades away just like that. And then you make it come right back. So basically the way that works is it kind of like the, the, the back print of it basically looks like the back of a hand and it blends in with your hand. It's very clever, very classical. I've never seen that only in this magic set to where you can literally just show the card and then kind of just rub it and then 
it kind of just, if as long as you keep your hand in motion, it looks like it blends in. You can barely see it. So it's called the fadeaway card trick. Also in here, you get the, uh, the coin clip. So this is the bigger version. I like this a lot better. So if I'm showing people the trick, which I have before, I've showed my girlfriend's daughter and she loved it. I like the, the, the clipped card trick. Uh, this one a lot better because it's a lot bigger. Most of them come small. It's where you can have them clip the queen. They're like, oh, the queen's right there. And then you turn it over and you say, hey, clip the queen. And then they're just like, bam. And then obviously they can't. They clip the wrong one and so forth. Another cool trick is the elongated girl in here. This right here is another classic trick usually done with the boomerangs, but this right here is the elongated girl. You can see that the red girl is shorter than the green girl. So the green girl is a lot longer, and you take it, you just pull it down, you stretch out the red girl, and now the red girl is longer than the green girl. This is called the elongated girl, the elongated girl or something like that in here, and this is really cool, and you just kind of wave them just like this right here, and it all becomes the same size. Now I've seen um, I've seen uh, Jay Sankey do this trick with um, I think uh, coffee coffee cup stuff or whatever like coffee stuff inside of a coffee shop. That's that's another impromptu way of doing this. This click this trick is a classic. Uh, also in this kit that I've never seen in other magic sets is this right here, the uh, luggage suitcase tags. Yes, this is so cool. So basically what you do is you mix these up right here and it teaches you how, how to do it or whatever. And you go behind your back, have somebody select it and by touch, this is this teaches you, this basically teaches you by uh, feeling magic, basically touch magic and how to do, how to find items by making like indentions and stuff like that on there. And it's kind of revealing it, but it's okay. I just want y'all to understand how it works. It basically teaches y'all how, how, um, how to make indentions on these to feel like if it's got two indentions or whatever that you know it's blue, yellow, or red. You can go behind your back and it's a great mind reading trick. That's basically a mentalism trick right there. And another good trick is this right here. I have not seen this in magic sets. This is really cool. This is basically like if you hold this a certain way, it gives you a cool routine where about an elevator. You can be like elevator going up and so forth. And then like it literally goes from up to bottom. And if you switch your hands, it switches and goes up and so forth. Like I don't remember the exact routine for it. Honestly, I haven't messed with this in a long time, but it's really cool. And like literally, like I said, you go, to, you go on a, uh, you basically talk about how you're on an elevator, and the guy, and the stewardess was like, hey, you know, you want to go up, and you go up or whatever, and it keeps on going one way, and then eventually, if you just switch your fingers in another way, it turns to the right or so forth whenever it wasn't supposed to, and it's only a one-sided arrow on each side. But the way the octagon is shaped, it makes it go in different directions, but people don't suspect that. Um, last but not least, we covered all the punch out stuff except for one thing. You get the poster trick in here. Now this is really classic. This is really cool actually. So this trick right here, if y'all can see this very well, sorry about the uh, demonstration of this. Uh, hopefully y'all can see this very, very well. Uh, you're going to get a cutout cardboard thing. It says this right here. So let's put this together real fast and I will show y'all. Sorry, I got a little mess here, but hey, it's part of demonstrating. All right, so with the stamp like this right here, bam, 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 you place the whole posty stamp together. It says, it says, even with the stamp missing, you can still see a picture of the greatest magician in the world, Alexander Herman. Okay, so even with the even with the stamp missing, you can still see the uh, a great great picture of the greatest picture of the greatest magician in the world, Alexander Herman. So that's basically what this is. This is a very classic puzzle trick, basically. So what you do is you take away the stamp, just like that, okay? Take away the stamp, you turn it around, and you put it together, okay? And the way this trick works is very neat, actually. It's a really, like I said, it's a puzzle trick. It's very classic. It's been around for, for a while. And then you place the last piece together, and even with the stamp missing, the picture still goes back to normal just like that it's really cool it's a really optical illusion puzzle y'all can see that it says raising the deuce with alexander herman and you literally without the stamp on there you can still see a great picture of the greatest magician so that's a really cool trick i hope y'all like that so overall i'm going to give this kit a 10 out of 10 I have to. I've had this kit for a while and it's very classic. I've learned a lot of great magic out of here when I was first starting out in magic. I've learned a lot of great stuff. Honestly, I have a lot of good tricks that were just outstanding. So 
Tell me what y'all think about this. Leave a comment what y'all think if y'all want to pick it up. This kit goes for, I think, $34 on Amazon from what I've seen. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Like I said, it's very well put together, very well detailed, and it teaches you a lot of history that other magic sets don't about magicians and, you know, and stuff like that and their routines and what they did way back in the day. Anyways, see you later.